Okay, so um, this problem is actually about um, the application of uh, which is which what, what what is this one? Bernoulli's equation. So this is a Bernoulli's equation, and and Bernoulli's equation is nothing more than uh, um, applying energy conservation on the liquid on on the case in the, in the case for a liquid. So uh, um, here we have this is a pressure at the basement. The, the pressure and, and the pipe at the, at the basement, which is here. So the pressure plus, um, this is a kinetic energy, excess of, excess of the speed of the flow at the basement here. So the density of water here, rho um, subscript W, is the density of water. The density of water times the uh, velocity, uh, the speed squared divided by two, this is a kinetic energy um, divided by volume, per volume. And this will be equal to the potential gravitational potential energy per volume plus, you know, this is the same. The only thing that has changed is the speed here is the speed at the, at the top. Here, the speed at the top. And so as is the height, which is a dis, uh, um, the distance, the height, you know, the height of the building. And what we want to get is the pressure at the top. The pressure of uh, the liquid, uh, the water, the pressure of water at the top here, P sub T. So you can massage this equation, you get um, this one. And the rest of the job is to plug in all the is to plug in all the numbers. Sorry, how can I? Forgive me, I, I, I don't know how to, like, hide my, um, you know, the screen, my video. Anyways, so um, the rest of the job is to plug in all the numbers, then you get the result, which is um, exactly the ones given in, in the solution, which is this one. And one thing that, that we have to, they we always need to remember that we're using the same unit. So here, um, so this is kind of what I suggest that we use um, the SI units. So Pascal, Pascal is, the, is, is an SI unit. And, and um, Kpa, Kpa, like Kilo Pascal is um, 10 to 30 times Pascal. So this is why we have, so here, this is why we're 10 to a three, this is why we have a thousand here. And this a thousand is the density, water density. And this is a 4.05 is the speed of the flow at the basement. And uh, why do we have, why, the, the reason why we have this ratio is because we know that um, the volume of flow is, always a constant because because the liquid um, fills the container. So V is the speed of a flow times the area of the cross section equals a constant. So it's always the same. So here the area we know the area is proportional to the diameter, right? It's a diameter squared times pi divided by four or a radius squared times pi. So we have this relation. We have the speed um, of flow at top times um, the diameter of the pipe at the top, which is d squared equals uh, the speed of flow at the basement times the diameter of the, of the pipe in the basement. So it's y squared. Yeah, and so this y, y is 5.18 uh, centimeter and d is 3.15 centimeter, take the square and um, notice that it's now um, this ratio to the four order because you have like in parentheses we it's already square in the parentheses itself is also square. Yeah, this is how we do this question. So uh, this is very important that we need to remember um, 
the what is energy conservation law and um, fluid dynamics is nothing but um, Bernoulli's equation. So uh, assuming that two like the the place that I label um, with subscript two is a place which is higher than the place at, at one, then the pressure at one plus um, the speed of flow one squared divided by two times the density of the fluid equals um, the pressure at two plus the height, the uh, dif uh, difference of height, height difference um, times the gravitational acceleration constant times the um, density of the fluid plus the um, kinetic term, which is the speed of flow at two squared divided by two times the um, density of the fluid. Okay. And next one. Um, so this one is this one's for um, problem ten, and it's an application. Uh, Pursuit's law. Pursuit's law is this one. It's this one, or um, equivalently, you can rewrite it. You can just you know, move it, move all the factors from the right hand side, except the difference of pressure, to the left. That you have this one, this expression. So uh, this is a, this delta p is the pressure difference, the difference of pressure, and you know, a times eta. Eta is um, the viscosity of the fluid, and L is a distance. It's a it's a length of the pipe. It's a length of the um, you know the the the, the distance of the, the liquid travels. And Q is the volume. Is is the um, um, flow rate, which is a volume divided by. Um, the time duration it takes, like and and um how 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 much like how large is the volume per how much how 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 large is the volume of liquid passing by per sec um per unit of time, and divide by pi r to the fourth. R is the radius of the pipe. Assuming we're discussing it, a pipe or a um you know this kind of or or a straw. You know this kind of thing, the radius of, of of this kind of tube. So we know um, the flow is decreased to um, one percent of the original. So the final flow is one percent of the original um, flow. And applying, you know, this one, we can use this form here. But this two are actually equivalent. So like you can you can decide which one you want to use. Anyways, from each of these, one would have um, from this relation. This is given by the question. Um, this can be transformed into this relation in, in, in radius. So it's radius initial radius to the fourth order um, times zero point zero one equals the final radius to the fourth. Um, so the last job is to get the ratio, right? This is what we are asked for. The ratio would be 0 0.01 um, to the one fourth. And this is 0 0.316. Um, yeah. Well, cool. so uh, this is how you get answer to question 10. And um, also, this this question is very important. If you if you are asked for uh, the viscosity, um, you know, you can do the same. You just um, take all the factor except eta itself to the left, and plug all the numbers, and you get the viscosity. Assuming um, the flow, the rate of flow is given. Um, assuming the pressure difference is given. And the radius of the pipe is given, and the dis of course uh, the the length of the pipe is given. Then you have every 
um, ingredients to calculate the viscosity.